Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Christmas Day matchup. It's the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Well, straight ahead, we've got a rematch for last year's NFC Divisional Round 2, as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, what a season it was for these Eagles and these Philly fans last year. An 8 no start. 14-3 final record, two blowout wins in the NFC playoffs before coming up a bit short in Super Bowl 57. And a good thing for Philadelphia is they try and get back to the Super Bowl. Many of the key pieces they had last year are back. Remember, this is the number three offense in the league, number two defense, and they threw in a heck of an NFL draft. They expect to contend one more time. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he has advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. And they'll come out with a three-tight end look on the first play of the drive. Now a two-time pro bowler coming off a big year, Saquon Barkley. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here's second and four from the 24. Back to throw. To Barkley on the check down. Call it a gain of a yard, and this will wind up being a third and three. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They're going to look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they say it's incomplete. That is the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Fielded just inside the 30. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. They go with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Right back to Swift again on second down. 
It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I don't see Marvin trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. So the completion there, and CD, as we know, trying to defend against an NFL quarterback, that's one thing. Trying to defend against a mobile NFL quarterback, that's quite another. What's the plan here defensively? Well, the pass rush has to still try and get to him, and especially the guys on the edge, but they're going to go maybe a, a, a count slower. Right? They want to make sure they don't get too far off the end where he steps up and takes off through a lane. The same is true for those interior guys as well. So you've got to change it up with him, try and keep him hemmed into the pocket, and occasionally you throw a spy on him, a fast linebacker or one of your extra defensive backs who can dance with him a little bit if he takes off and runs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Hurts to throw. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. Here's second and ten. They go play action with Hurts. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. From 19 yards away. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Elliott good on the extra point. And it's now a 7 nothing game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Paris Campbell now on the return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. 
And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. They go play action here on first down. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Barkley inside handoff. And this will be a Giants first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A first down carry for Barkley. He'll take this to the 46. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. They'll run it again with Barkley. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now a play fake here on first down. Pressure applied and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Brandon Graham applied the heat off the edge. Chalked that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. They need 18 yards here on third down. He'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll get this to the 23, but that will be well short of what he needed. A gain of eight there on the play, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. 
York able to send this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would say, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Hurts, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a good job there of knuckling down as an offense. You're trying to roll three and out at all costs. And after two straight incompletions, this one's on target, and they're able to keep the chains moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Swift. And now off to the races, down the right side. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 49 yards rushing for him now and just his first three carries. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff and when you're a runner of his caliber you don't need a big crease. You really don't but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 20-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here's Swift. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line tip to that offensive line they're clearing some holes even down here deep in the red zone and that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal 
Second and goal from inside the five. Swift again. But he will go backwards as he stopped for a loss. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown as his guys are able to extend their lead. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys. Elliott good with a PAT, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And New York set to take the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. They'll look to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll set up to throw. Eagle pressure too much this time. And down he goes. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. We had a pretty good idea that they were going to pressure this young quarterback, and that's now two sacks here in the first quarter. And, yeah, this is a secret to exactly nobody because if you're a rookie quarterback, you know you're going to see pressure. Defenses want to see how you're going to handle it or if it forces you into making bad decisions. That's their goal. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be Eagles football first and ten. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation.
Hurts. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense I mean, probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down. Almost back to the drawing board. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After one, a 14 to three ball game. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it second down and 11. Once again, it's Swift. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. The Eagles on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and seven. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Jihad Ward in there to drop him for a loss on the play. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And now out come the Giants. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second and seven. They'll look to throw here. Fletcher comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Fletcher Cox breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance. They've got to get the ball in his hands a lot quicker. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This short throw caught by Goddard. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Looking to throw. This will be caught by Brown. 
And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll get this up to the 43. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. But first down, Hurts. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Second and ten. Throwing his hurts. The left side completion to Jones. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Well, sometimes it doesn't appear like much. The out route can be very dangerous when you throw it to a guy like Julio Jones. If you try and undercut it, he can turn into a big play. But the reason he's able to get it so often is because of his ability to push people deep, and they have to respect that. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 41-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 41. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw on that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Second down, here's Hurts. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Fighting through pressure. Flush to his right. It fights him. Hurts fumbles it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to pump then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 68 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice gain there. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, 
Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, here's Barkley. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Giants on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V-feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Cade York on now for the field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And he hits the upright put it caroms in anyway. Boy, plenty of distance there as he banks it in. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. This now a third and four. Now back to throw. This is going to be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Oh, the return is Olszewski. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be giant football first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently.
sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They're going to look to throw. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. And now they look at third down as a manageable situation when they have a much better chance of picking up. Third and five. Back to throw here. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Fletcher Cox, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. And out now come the Eagles. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. From the 29, here's a second and seven. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary and that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here second down and long he'll look to throw now a quick throw there but it's going to be incomplete had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That is caught, and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. And they run the option on second down. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Hurts sets up to throw it. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion fifth catch of the game for him there yeah and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher it used to be occasional right safety valve throw one to him every so often but more, mainly they want him out there to block nowadays an integral part of the passing game and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver from the midfield stripe they'll look to throw and he is tackled inside the 40 not quite to the 35 Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the 
first down on a 13-yard run. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it. So they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Swift is into the end zone for the Eagle touchdown. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it, and he gets it done. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to six. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Campbell returning it. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. come out throwing here on first down. Incomplete. Now uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you definitely got to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Now a second and ten. They'll set up a throw. Looking for Shepard deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A 
give to Barkley out of the gun. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A quick throw there is incomplete. Here's second and 10. They'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Here is third and five. They'll set up to throw. And the Giant rush gets home as down he goes. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here's Braden Mann now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. He'll look to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Christmas Day as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report coach okay Brandon thanks very much and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report the Eagles got a solid first half from last year's MVP runner-up Jalen Hurts he came out of the gate smoking hot with two first quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead.
So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. Hurts. Got a man. It's Brown. It'll be a gain of five. And now third down and six to go. They'll look to throw here. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strike at the 49. From just shy of midfield, here's second and four. Throwing his Hurts. And his throw is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll look to throw again. He'll get this off to Swift. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now Hurts going to get this to his running back, Swift. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, he even went deep in the catch and close to the spot. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. This is Smith to the ground. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. 
23 yards, the final tally. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. On the option to give to Swift here. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Elliott on for the extra point. He's got it, and the lead swells. It's 28 to 6. So that one a long 11 play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They begin with a run by Barkley. And a short pickup to about the 25. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. From the 25, here's second down and seven. They'll go to Barkley again. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They'll drop to throw. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Man over the left side is Brown. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. But first down, Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, 
but understanding clock management here on out. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And New York set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They go play action here on first down. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Here's a give to Barkley. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. A 4C incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going to the quarterback in the expected passing situation. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And it's fielded at the 34. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 44. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Hurt sets up to throw it. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here's third and six. Back to throw here. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 
That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. The Eagles send out their punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 102 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Ball well, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. His throw incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Out of the gun now on third down. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Eagles send out their punter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. 
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Here's a second and seven. Catch made by Slayton. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Barkley on first down, going to work his way forward only for about a couple there. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Running again with Barkley on second down. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. So where did all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He'll look to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. This will be fielded at the 17. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. This is second and eight. From the gun, it's Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard will go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down and four. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. On second down, Swift. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. 
run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage, and he is going to have an Eagles first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely, but the mark shows first down so that was all you're looking for on a play like that get the first down and keep the drive moving yeah it just looked to me like he just said to himself i've got this i'll take it i'll pick it up and let's keep moving get the first down get a new set and let's start over a first down run good for about three second and seven coming up they're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first and ten, it's Swift. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 31-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They'll look to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 14. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Well, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. DeAndre Swift, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Campbell returning it. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And the Giants ready to come out now. come out throwing here to start the drive oh he dropped it and that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone they lead big and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half no points allowed since the break and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Bearing for the sack by big Jalen Carter. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't it? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Third and 20. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's got his target. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. And finally wrestled down at the eight-yard line. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, give them credit. They're going to stay and fight this out to the end. Fourth down, you've got to go for it. And they not only convert, but pick up some good yardage as well. Looking to throw. No bottled up fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline is still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 16. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. A gain of three, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Right back to Swift again on second down. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Philadelphia picking up the first out of gain of 15. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. 
Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he's got it to about the 40 not a run that you're going to write home about but still a good first down run that's what an offense calls staying on schedule three to four yards on first down you're set up very well for the rest of the drive ball on the 40 now here's second and six Swift going to try up the middle and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line a loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And now out come the Giants. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. A first down carry for Barkley. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And this will be a Giants first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back to throw now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second and nine now. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. They'll set up to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. And a big 32-yard play on third. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, 
You tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. DeAndre Swift and the Eagles back out there. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt continues to find it throughout this game and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live he might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest he knows how to get there and boy he looks happy when he does he's already bought all the property in the end zone that's the problem he's going to sell to himself now and now before the ball changes hands they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's caught by Waller out left side. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Again, he'll drop to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So, And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. 
Once again, it's Swift. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Third and two. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And to be frank, Charles, probably not too many people surprised at how this one turned out. Yeah, I don't think so at all. I mean, they're such a good football team. They were at home. You know, you walked in and you looked at the advantages and you saw that they had most of them. It took a lot to try and even it up. I just thought two words for this ball game: methodical and predictable. And both of them came together. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.